Hi, I'm Rod from Windswept and Interesting Limited. I've got an open source hardware network kite turbine for you. Here's what it looks like. This is a rotary kite turbine. I call it Daisy Stack. Quite amazing, eh? There's a guy called Oliver Tullock. I want you to help me to help do his PhD. We need to build a system in order that he can test what the power output on the back of these turbines are. Now the turbines work by having a set of rings going into the sky way up high. At altitude there's a lot better wind and a lot more power. Using the system's intention, we don't need the very heavy tower parts. This is the tower here. It's going to be connected to a hub and a few extra bars on the ground, but I think you'll agree that's absolutely nothing compared to your standard wind turbine. So I'll let Oliver tell you a wee bit more. I am Oliver Tullich. I am a PhD student at the University of Strathclyde. I very recently started my PhD looking into rotary kite networks with Rod Reed as my industrial supervisor. The aim of my PhD is to produce efficient and safe operation of the daisy kite. Um, this will involve originally looking at the in-flight operation and then hopefully moving on to look at an automatic launch and retrieval procedure. In order to do this, I need to develop a computer model of the system. This will allow us to analyse rotary kite networks in much more depth and hopefully optimise uh, the daisy kite design. But in order to make sure that my model is producing accurate results, I need lots of experimental data. This is where you guys come in. We need some funds so that I can cover a prototype and sensors, collect a whole load of data and then sit behind the computer and analyse it for hours. Anything that you guys can give would be hugely appreciated. Thanks. Ollie wants to test the power output on the back here and we need a bunch of sensors and stuff to do that. It's a wee bit beyond my budget just now. I've been sponsored by my family to do this and a house husband's wages, you know, really you shouldn't have to cover um, open source energy problems. What I'm wanting to do here with this science is make a, a cheaper energy for the planet, a more sustainable way of getting energy. And I share these designs and they're, they're really good. Please help in order to make these systems viable for everybody worldwide. Now there's an advantage of these network kites over the single line kites you see. And if anything breaks on a network, it keeps working but just with degraded function. So this has been done with very little funding so far. It takes an awfully windy day and it still works in that, even though it's just made of string and cloth. So it's going well in a place like the Isle of Lewis. It's working nicely here. Despite being a really windy zone, this kite still goes. It's not coming down. Now we're hoping to get high into the atmosphere where it's really windy like this place. We're going to make a new system for Oliver to test and it's going to be automatically tracking and working in tension. We need about 300 watts sometimes here. This is the old model, you'll be able to buy this one, but it's a new model coming out. And that's what I want you to help with, to help Oliver Tullock study it and see how big we can make these things go. A daisy kite is not super high tech. I just use parafoil kites on my mother-in-law's old sewing machine. Pretty easy. As you can see, I make the devices in my loft and I share the designs online. These turbines are very lightweight, so that means we can grow them to be really large. I'd like to move into bigger premises soon so that I can build extra big kites and test exactly how we're going to work on those. Some of the world's richest companies are looking into airborne wind energy at the moment, but they're all looking at single line systems. Network kite systems have got some huge advantages. Anytime that a component breaks, it's always got two other components tied to it, so it's safer. It can be brought down to the ground and it can be maintained. Network kites are also much stronger and more scalable. So it looks like we could build a really big energy system and share that knowledge in an open source way. There's so many advantages to these network systems. Here's what Christoph from Sum AWE has to say about them. Hi, 
My name is Christoph Bopoil. I'm the founder of SumAWE.org, a community of people that try to make some airborne wind energy happen. Um, the future of wind energy is airborne, where you get stronger winds, uh, you need less material than a tower-based turbine. Uh, most of the research is focused on a limited number of designs, uh, but there are other promising designs that haven't received funding so far. Uh, ROTS Rotary Kite is a very promising design. Um, it has less mass in the air and it re doesn't require complex automated control. And ROT has shown that it actually works. So ROT himself is very knowledgeable, persistent, creative, and skilled. Um, that's why I believe that he can achieve his goal if he gets the right funding. So if you got a dollar to spare and if you want to change wind power forever, um, please give it to Rod. Thank you. Oliver wants your help and my help to build this turbine. I've been working open source, supported by my family, and house husband wages really shouldn't be covering this vital science. We want scalable, we want sustainable wind energy for our planet's future. So. Please help me to build this kit for Oliver and for everyone. Thanks.